Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Losing with Shannon. Um, it is fall break in my county, so it's going to be a crazy, crazy week, and I have to feed all the kids every meal. So <laughs> that's going to be something. Um, my, today is weigh in Monday, and I did weigh in. I weighed in at two. No, uh, two. I, it still blows my mind that I'm in the 100s because I've never been in the 100s. I still keep trying to write everywhere 200 something. Uh, so my way in, let's see if it was 193 point four. So, huh, this is weird. This is showing less weights, I think, than I, I had. I don't think it's showing up one of the weights I put in three weeks ago. So I'm 0.2 pounds up above my weight from two weeks ago, I think, if I remember from... I tracked it on the phone I'm recording on right now, so there's that. So I've had a hard week. I've ate some off-plan things. I'm not tracking in any way, shape, and form. Um, I ate Doritos yesterday, and I just want to eat every two hours yesterday. I don't know. That was weird. And I just wanted to drink coffee all day long, too. That's not coffee. That is the Mo Mighty Maca Trimmy. I'm trying to drink more Maca to help my fertility and stuff like that. I don't know if it will actually help me in the ways I want it to help me, but, you know, try it. So, ugh, it's a lot of off-plan eating. I mean, yeah, I had my normal off-plan eating, but then I had my not Doritos, eating an actual serving of real chips. I don't do that. I might take one chip, and I ate some uh, breaded uh, mushrooms, which <coughs> I really didn't have, and half a roll when I was at Logan's, and... Just all sorts of things that are not on plan, and it's more more into the cheat zone than I normally get. Yes, I'll sometimes take one fry for my kids, but not the amount of off-plan foods I did do. So there's that. Uh, Workout-wise, I let me think. Uh, did not go to bar on Monday. I don't even know what I did for my exercise last Monday. Uh, Tuesday, I went to Bar Bounce. I am getting so much better at Bar Bounce. Like, if you ever try a bounce class and you're like, I'm going to die, this is horrible, this is awful, you really, honestly, just got to keep trying it. Uh, I mean, the other day I was doing high knees without even realizing it. Like, I was just doing it. I mean, I may not do them as high as everyone else, but I'm doing it. Uh, yeah, I find a lot... Especially where I'm so afraid of falling. I have to find my rhythm first, get my balance, and then I start, I can sometimes start doing the high impact, high, higher impact, higher, higher intensity things. Because I don't know if it's still high impact if it's on trampoline. I don't know. Uh, I feel like it's getting easier. So much easier. Uh, and I actually only start doing it every week because of the fall into fitness challenge with my bar studio. Oh my goodness, I was just warned that around Thanksgiving they do a challenge called Planksgiving. See who has the longest plank. Someone held it for eight minutes last year. I think that's what she said. Oh, I don't know about that. I can barely do 45 seconds and that's really hard. And that's in a full expression plank, I think. A lot of times I go from full expression to um, modified. Uh, what else? What else? Let me think, 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 think. So, Wednesday, I went back and did the afternoon bar. And I did a little bit better. I would... But, I mean, it's still not perfect for me. Um, I don't know if it's my... I was sore from the days, the days before or what. Then, uh... Thursday... I think I did work-ins. Um, which kept stopping. Like, you, like I'm in the middle of something. Something. And it stopped. Like, go completely back to the Xbox screen. 
So I would have to stop and start multiple, multiple times. Uh, Friday I did bar class, which that was hard. We did, tr we did fold over push-ups. So if you're experienced in bar, bar, fold over is, hey, you're standing here, you're now folded over, your leg's back here now. And then, so lift your leg up and now you're doing a push-up with your leg up. Uh, plus I, th oh, so if you wa watch me on Instagram, I talk about how TikTok is my worst thing because I think it really emphasizes the weakness in my left leg. So, but the funny thing is, and I don't, now I'm wondering if it's just in my head, but I'm not really sure cause, about that because I still have, uh, I don't know. Uh, we did weighted seesaw and I think weighted seesaw like we did is also in a flat belly bar DVD. Um, we did that. But we started with standing on the right leg first. And I was absolutely shaking and quivering and all sorts of stuff. It was so hard. But that's my strong side. Then the next time I got, the, when we flipped, now I'm standing on my left leg. I was rocking that thing out. So now I'm wondering, is that all in my head? But the thing is, I do know, especially lunges, like we did lunges today, is definitely, most definitely, there is just... There is a balance and strength and equality there. Like, so bad. Like, we were doing things with bands and lunges, and I'm like, I'm gonna fall over. So that was hard. Uh, Saturday. What did I do Saturday? Huh. I think Saturday I did Perishing Square 2, which I actually really like this DVD. Uh, and I think I really like Perishing Square 1, too. Uh, I need to start like marking these down, like get a permanent marker around the side of the box. Yes, no, yes, no. Uh, I still need, I need to try accelerated workout again, bar method without getting interrupted. And I did get, oh, if you didn't follow me on uh, Instagram, I've gotten a uh, daily method daily now, which is awesome because there's a pregnant lady with pregnancy modifications throughout. So it is technically three DVDs in one. Because now it's a pregnancy workout, a regular workout, and then quickie workouts. Awesome. Uh, I did order Bar Method Super Sculpting, but then I saw really uh, a review that said it wasn't super amazing. So now I'm like, just wanted to. Uh, but. Uh, so, yeah, Sunday I didn't. I rested. I was sore from the tops of my feet to my back. I've also been trying to do uh, squats and um, push-ups while I brush my teeth and do a, a blah, 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 mouthwash. So I'll do push-ups during mouthwash and try to brush my teeth while I do squats. So there's that. The, the, the baby's in there eating something and the dog will eat it from, take him from him. So he's in the crate and he does not like it. So, yeah, that is how my week went, pretty much. off plan eating, and oh, I did, oh, now I remember. One day I did this burning burn Pilates. I'm not so sure about it. The reason why I like bar so much is because it, most bar forms, especially I think more lot Burke-based bar form, forms, do not irritate my knees. Um, but burning firm Pilates extend. I, I have not done extend since I broke my ankle, but I'm like 75% sure that extend would hurt my knees right now. Um, so there's that. And, uh, most lot break forms of bar just don't hurt my knees. Um, I don't, feel, I mean, yeah, I dread working out, but I don't dread it. But also, because most of them all have that same routine, I can go, oh, we're doing seat, we're doing thighs, we're doing abs, we're done. Whew, whew. 
uh, an arm, some actually do arms in different spots, but there's, I can have less dread for them. And the Burn and Firm Plotties, I could, I couldn't, I was going so fast, I couldn't feel like I could do it safely. And that was really bothering me. And, um, there's that. Uh, though I've heard so many good reviews on that. Um, but it is more large based ROM. Which is good because you, you kind of need that in your life. Um, but I need to clip the cat's nails. So, yeah, that's it. That's my week. I just, I don't know if it's because it's my birthday month or if it's because I've been doing this for so long that I'm kind of getting tired. I just, my no, my, my inner no is very, very weak right now. And, uh, like, I actually have not ate Cool Ranch Doritos in, like, years. Why did I eat Cool Ranch Doritos? I used to love them, by the way. And I just kind of, like, sick, got sick of them and just stopped eating them. So, the fact that I ate, like, pretty much a whole serving of Cool Ranch Doritos, just I'm like, what? And someone did go, oh, are you pregnant? I'm like, no, I'm not. But, I mean, really, legitimately, the last three weeks, I feel like I have had very symptomatic pregnancy symptoms like aversions to food only wanting eggs or and or um just wanting to eat all day i really on sunday i just wanted to eat every two hours and i don't know did i not have enough veggies or what so yeah maybe i could do arm and ab booster or something today i don't know i never hardly ever do those but yeah yeah i don't know i'm letting little kids watch cartoons while i take this Technically, they're not supposed to be watching cartoons today because uh, someone wasn't listening. Um, that's about it that I can think of. I mean, I'm just, I haven't been posting my meals on Instagram, and that's probably because of guilt, and I have stopped taking pictures of them, really. Um, uh, I have became obsessed with the uh, brownie batter oatmeal. Of course, it doesn't get as dark if you throw applesauce in it, just so you know. Um, and maybe eggs. <laughs> but the baby loves it, and he's eating, like, two servings of it. So, yeah, because uh, it's fall break. I slept in, so I ate lunch early, later, and today, like, at one point during bar, I was like, oh, pff. I'm going to either vomit or hiccup or heartburn or something. Ugh, I need a break. That's the hardest part is trying to figure out when to eat and what to eat and how much to eat. Because, like, some days when I eat really early after I put him on the bus and, like, I'll be in the middle of a pose going, I'm starving to death. Gosh. I'm starving to death. Or I'll be like, ooh, ee, heartburn. Or I'm going to vomit. <laughs> so my life but uh i'm hoping this week will be a better week so are you are you are you struggling like i'm struggling to use words today <laughs> if you're struggling tell me why are you struggling and maybe we can figure out a way to fix that um I, I and you know deep down i wonder if it's because i am we are trying to have another baby if at this point i you don't know when it's going to happen. And I'm like, yeah, if I focus, I could be 189 before getting pregnant. And then, like, gain, hopefully, 15 pounds. But I think deep down, I'm going, well, what's the point of having, what's the point of saying no to those Doritos when I'm just going to get pregnant, maybe, hopefully, and I'm just going to balloon, balloon up. But that's stupid. But I'm, I, I'm backfiring on myself and why do we do this to ourselves? We do this to ourselves all the time with different things. What's the point? It's just going to get ruined in the end. No, there is a point. A healthy baby, a healthy body, healthy um, showing the kids healthy foods and you know health, eating habits and stuff. There is a point. We just got to figure out to get that subconscious to get with the front conscious. Whatever that would be called. <laughs> There is a point. The point is to be as healthy as a pro healthy for our body. And um, it's just trying to get our minds and hearts all 
connected together and it's, it's hard and we got to fight back against that subconscious going it won't hurt to have one more oh yes I ate some uh, cream cheese uh, donut yesterday a little bit of a half of one <sighs> and it wasn't even that good I should probably make cinnamonies sometime this week. I've never made the cinnamonies and I don't know if I have any ingredients for it because that's not how I plan breakfasts for the kids or me. But maybe I should do that and maybe that would like kind of be like, you know, that dessert I had yesterday. That'd be on plan. Because <laughs> uh, I just really made my grocery shopping list and I was like, and then I'm like, oh, I got the kids. Oops. Uh, the, the, the preschooler gets fed at school and then he'll have snacks in the afternoon and then, uh, we'll eat dinner and, you know, the baby sometimes won't eat, so, but hey, he'll eat that chocolate brownie oatmeal, so, yes, if you're struggling, tell, share with me about it. If you want to see any THM related videos, uh, tell me about it. I try to share them on Thursdays. I have two already loaded up that just need to be shared, uh, uh so, Keep checking in or subscribing down below if you want to get updates on them. Um, because one is hacks to make one of my favorite trim healthy table meals even quicker, drive through Sue friendly, um, and just simple. Like I hate making dirtying of dishes, so I have I have got it to the point where I don't have to dirty up more than like six dishes unless I don't have pre pre uh, pre riced cauliflower. <laughs> um, uh, and then another one is um, a THM 101 special about sweeteners. So, and I am not really even good about sweeteners because I am a cheater. So. so, I don't know which one is getting shared, which one's getting shared first. And then I think I have one already scheduled because that's uploaded on my iPhone and I can't remember what that one's about. Oh, I think it's my caramel extra hat. So, I'll see you guys next time. I'm sorry this video ran to 17 minutes. Bye, and don't forget to subscribe, and like, and share, and all that other stuff they ask you to do on social media. And also, I had a couple new subscribers this week, so thank you and welcome, and I'm so happy to be on this journey with you. So, uh, if you want to share with me where you are, you are at at your journey, feel free to do that down below. And I'll see you guys next time. The dog's freaking out. I should probably let him out. Bye-bye.